Okay, something amazing has just happened. The stock price of GameStop, a video game retail company in the United States, has just gone absolutely bananas through the roof. Now, most people are very excited about this because it's been seen as this battle of the small investor versus the Wall Street giant. But I have another angle on this, and that is that this has just crushed the efficient market hypothesis. The long running hypothesis in finance that markets are basically super efficient and that the stock price is always a reflection of the net present value of all of its future dividends. Now GameStop is loss making and everybody knows it. This makes it different from other more longer term bubbles like, like Bitcoin for which efficient market hypothesis proponents could always say, well, but this really reflects the fundamental value of blockchain technology. Here, there's just no argument to be made for this. So this is a great day for behavioral finance. And I really implore all of you to start studying behavioral finance because this is exactly what that is about. And this is also totally in line with the work that famous behavioral economist Robert Schiller has been working on. And that is in which regard narratives, so stories, shape stock market prices and the prices of other assets. And here the best example I think is that Elon Musk tweets about this stock and so many people jump on it that the money behind all of this is so big to break some of the biggest Wall Street titans. Now the value of this stock, it will have to go down. Even if you're a behavioral economist like me, you still believe that fundamentals, so dividends, do have a major effect on stock prices and that in the long term, they will need to converge to that value. But I'm really excited to see how long that will take. And in the meantime, I implore all of you to start studying behavioral economics and while you're at it, subscribing to this channel. Do you agree that this is crushing for the efficient market hypothesis? Let me know in the comments.